So yesterday we drove up this road and it was one heck of a little bumpy, narrow, steep road. It ended up being worth it when we got to the top, but I've said it before, what goes up must go down, and we're headed back down this road. But it's always a little easier when you know you've already made it once, right Kurt? Yeah, it's still bumpy and tossy and turny, but I'm not complaining. We got to see that amazing blue toucan, yeah. and wow. It was cool. So, all right, on the road, headed to the city of Quito. While we were up here looking at the birds, the road caved in through here, but they're already on it. We're on a detour. <laughs> wow. Uh, so we've made the drive out of the mountains, out of the cloud forest. We are hitting the very northern edge of the Quito suburbs. And what we're going to do here is we're going to look for a camp that has good Wi-Fi. We haven't had good internet connection in almost a week and we need to upload some videos for you guys or there isn't going to be a video coming out on Saturday. So that's what we're up to and then once we get a little bit of work done we will actually head closer to the city of Quito which is the capital of Ecuador but first... we are not in the mountains anymore we are very close to downtown Quito about 15 minutes from our campsite which will be we think in the middle of the city so it's always fun to drive this big old van on these city streets. It always creates a high level of stress. We're both doing pretty good right now, but... We got 15 minutes. Traffic <laughs> and all that stuff is pretty intense, and we still have to find a spot, so we'll see. So our campsite in the city was a little hectic, didn't quite work out for us, so we drove just outside of town in a suburb of Quito and found this little... Uh, Cabanas. Ari's Cabanas. It's a beautiful little garden area. It's definitely a comfortable place. Today we are headed into the city itself and we thought the easiest way was to go on a tour. So we have someone picking us up right now. We're going to take you and show you the historical part of downtown Quito. And when we get back we'll show you a little bit more about this great little place we found. Okay, we are in the car headed to the city. We just found out the suburb is Pifo that we're staying in. And this is our guide, our driver for the day, Hyman. But Pedro, Hyman, no espanol inglés, or no hablas inglés. <laughs> Solo espanol. So Kurt's going to be doing a lot of figuring stuff out today. But we're headed to the city and this is supposed to be a beautiful historic city guys i'm excited to share it with you all right we're still heading up these windy roads of Gua Guapu guadalupa guapulo guapulo which is this little community area where we just visited this nice little church to be honest with you we don't know the itinerary today so <laughs> you guys along for the ride. we're just along for the ride just like you guys we're on some kind of crazy windy road back shortcut and uh, we would have never taken this road and to be honest it's a little tight for the van anyway but we are getting some interesting tidbits like for example up on the hill the houses up there are kind of expensive and we've just come through some really cool areas so excited to get to the city but the drive along the way is pretty cool as well so we've snaked our way up through these windy roads up through this neighborhood. Down there's the church that we just showed you and you can see the valley that all these sort of rich houses have up here. But the look down there isn't in Quito and you can see sort of the main highway which is probably what we took in the van. But instead on this tour we've gotten to come up through these curvy cobblestone roads to see the graffiti to see the culture and to see this beautiful place. So what a nice vista. All right, so I gotta be honest with you. I do not miss the city as much as I thought, guys. You know, we spent three and a half months in Medellin and we've been out exploring since and now we're back in the city. 
And I'm kind of glad we have a driver because navigating these roads in the van would be difficult. But up in front of us, I see a huge basilica. So this is one of the reasons we came. I'm super excited to check this out. Quito is the capital of Ecuador. It was founded in the 16th century on the ruins of an ancient Inca city. It stands at an altitude of 2,850 meters, which is 9,350 feet. Despite the major 1917 earthquake, the city still has the best preserved, least altered historic center in all of Latin America. Just under three million people call Quito home. It's perched in the middle of the Andes mountain range and Quito is spread along the slopes of the Pinchincha volcano. It was founded by the Spanish in 1534. Quito proudly possesses one of the most extensive and best preserved historic city centers in all of Spanish America. In 1978, Quito became the very first UNESCO World Cultural Heritage City. The National Basilica sits in the center of Quito it is the largest neo-Gothic basilica in all of the Americas. Construction began in 1887 with the approval of Pope Leo VIII. Local believers began donating stones in exchange for being able to carve their names in those stones. In 1895, the city established a tax on salt to continue the construction. Construction of different parts of the basilica continued through 1909 when the heart of the Mary Cathedral was finally completed. Technically, the basilica remains unfinished, and local legend says that when the basilica construction is officially completed, the end of the world will come. In 1985, the basilica was blessed in person by Pope John Paul II. guys snow's not going to come up here there's a lot of steps to get up to this but supposedly we're still supposed to be able to go up to the bell tower and have a nice vista so i've been going up for a while Let's see if we can get to the top three more floors to go but i had to stop to see the nice view of the rooftop of this basilica so ornate with all the statues and the stained glass it really is beautiful on the outside more so than the inside to be honest with you but still a very grand and beautiful church so as you can see I'm inside the clock tower and you can see the big giant clocks but I still have some space to go up guys this is the view from the top of the bell tower at least as far as we can go so you can see the other tower is right over there we have a beautiful view of the city and I mean if you can see there's a beautiful statue on top of that hill right there hopefully we'll go see that and then we can go tell you more about it when we get there a couple of thoughts as I look out across the city at least from this view is it is jam-packed tight in here and i don't think the valley is quite as steep as what we showed you guys in medellin so it looks like mostly five six story buildings at most but definitely packed in here 
there is all the high rises and they are definitely packed in. So definitely the big city feel. There's people coming up, it's time to go back down. Independence Square, also known as the Grand Plaza, is the main square in the historic city center of Quito. It is the political and historical center of Ecuador and the symbolic home of the president of Ecuador. The Monument of Independence is located here. It was built to honor the heroes of 1809 when the revolution started to become independent of Spain. Other important buildings located here are the Archbishop's Palace of Quito, the Metropolitan Cathedral of Quito, and the Municipal Palace of Quito. and convent of San Francisco is the oldest and most significant site in Ecuador. The vast complex includes 13 cloisters and three churches. It houses more than 3,500 works of religious art and has a library holding thousands of books and historic documents. The convent was built between 1537 and 1560. The main church and the remaining cloisters were built a century later. Today the complex continues to house Franciscan monks, but also functions as a major cultural and religious center. It receives close to one million visitors per year. The complex has suffered damages over the years due to several large earthquakes, but in 2002 it was fully restored. The Church of La Campania is a Catholic clerical complex. Yes, this church is spectacular to look at, but the really fascinating thing is that all of the gold you see on this altar is real gold. They started building this church with volcanic stone in 1605, and construction was completed in 1765. It has been visited by two popes, Pope John Paul II in 1985 when he held mass here, and Pope Francis, who held a public prayer in 2015.
right, it's time for lunch. I think Snow's knee is about worn out. It just needs a little rest. All right, I got some fried shrimp with rice and a salad. And Kurt got, what'd you get, Kurt? Chivo, I got the goat, which is the first time I've had in Ecuador, and I've heard that this is kind of one of their specialty dishes here. So it comes with rice and a salad. Looks tasty. Ooh, maybe I can have a bite of your aguacate. Sure. Well, how is it? The shrimp are cooked perfectly. The salad has a nice, light dressing. This sauce, Kurt needs to try it so he can tell me what's in it. It's good. And I can tell you, the goat is tasty as well. It's got a little sweet sauce on it. And uh, so yeah, everything's pretty tasty. You turn a puddle into oceans. You set the galaxies in motion. You see the magic in a single flake of snow. You turn the sidewalk cracks to canyons You are a fire-breathing dragon You follow treasure maps into the wild unknown I wanna go with you I wanna go with you On a grand adventure I'm along for the ride And I feel it all again For the very first time On a grand adventure With you by my side Cause I love to see The world through your eyes Sitting on top of Panachilo Hill in the center of Quito is a 135 foot tall statue of the Virgin Mary, known as the Virgin of El Panachilo. It is the tallest statue in Ecuador and one of the highest in all of South America. It's even taller than the famous Christ the Redeemer statue in Brazil. In the 1950s, it was determined that this hilltop was the perfect place to erect this statue. She is constructed from 7,400 pieces of aluminum. Construction was completed in 1975, and she is perfectly aligned with the main cathedral doors of the basilica we visited this morning. From the top of this hill, you can see all of Quito. Now, when most people think of Ecuador, they think of the equator or the Galapagos. But one thing is for sure, Ecuador is volcano country. This small country, which is about the size of Colorado, is home to 47 volcanoes. 15 of them are in the Galapagos Islands, and 32 of them are here on the mainland. From this hill in the center of Quito, you can see nine of them on a clear day. All right, everyone. If I'm being completely honest, it's difficult to do a city like Quito in the van. And so to arrange a tour like this, and be able to have them drive us around in a car and kind of show us the key places is magnificent. And I got to tell you, Quito, the historic district that we went to, along with this nice viewing spot, this beautiful statue, has absolutely been amazing. And uh, there's so much culture here and the architecture and so many different things make this place unique. We had a great lunch. But we're gonna wrap it up up here. There's some markets up here that I wanna walk through, but we're probably gonna head to the grocery store and head back to the van, head back to home with the kitties where we feel most comfortable, so. We are wore out. We have walked all over the historical area and looked at all these beautiful old Spanish buildings and amazing churches. Uh, we are headed back to our camp, which is just outside of town. On the way there, we're gonna stop and buy a little bit of groceries because we don't have anything left in the van. And then we're headed back to the van. 
but it was a good day here in the city. And, and we've been listening to, comprehending, and speaking Spanish all day. We're still not good at it, but we're a little bit proud of how we did today. <laughs> so, let's head back home to the van, check on the kitties. <laughs> Hi guys, did you miss us today? Did you miss us a little? Okay. So that was a fun day in the city. Those churches were amazing. Some of the vistas, and I always love all the cityscapes. But I got to be honest, we've been back here for about an hour. And it just feels good to be kind of back out, out of the city where it's calm and relaxing. And I haven't really showed you this place yet, but it is absolutely beautiful. And the owners have 18 cats. And so they're beautiful and well behaved. And they're just all around here. And they're so curious. And of course, they see our cats. And so they want to check each other out, but it's just not a good mix. But anyway, the cats love it here. They've had some great walks. There's all sorts of beautiful flowers here. It's green. I love the design of this place. It's just nicely manicured and so unique and cool. Another cool thing about it is another couple just strolled in and they're from Germany. And so they've been here in Colombia for a while and they're actually headed back. They're going to go back to the place that we just stayed over there with Hans. How cool is that to see other overlanders? And we actually got to talk about different places in Ecuador that we've been. They hadn't been to Mindo, so we told them about the birds and she's a big photographer. And she told us about some amazing adventures that we're putting on our map. So anyway... Just really kind of enjoying this beautiful place, being back here, out in the nature, in the quiet, where it's relaxing. And actually, that's what we're gonna do. Snow's knees a little, kind of, I guess, swollen. I guess she's doing pretty good. But anyway, she needs to kick it up and rest. We did a ton of walking today, and it wasn't just walking, you know, uphill or downhill. There was a lot of cobblestones and a lot of movement and things like that. So she's a little bit ready to just hang out. A little bit banged up. <laughs> Nothing too bad. Just need to ice and elevate and rest for the rest of the day. So that's where we're going to end it, guys. See you in a few days. Cheers. Cheers. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys.